spooky season is upon us, and if you're looking for something a little different to yeah. send shivers down your spine, there's an event this Sunday at the German American Heritage Center in Davenport. Yeah, it's called the Voices in the Walls, Murder Legends and Hauntings of the QC. Spooky. Very spooky. Local historian, <laughs> author, and storyteller John Brasser Jr. joins us in studio with a preview of the program. John, thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Thanks for having me, guys. We I are both it. very intrigued uh, by this event. Uh, you've got several spooky stories that uh, that you want to share, so we'll uh, kind of get th into that in just a moment. But you kind of wanted to highlight what the German American Heritage Center does for the Quad Cities. Absolutely. They're a wonderful host to all of us local historians, all of our events, and while they are the German American Heritage Center, they don't just focus on German American history. Mm -hmm. I mean, while it's their highlight and their focus, they allow all of us to come in and bring our own piece of local history and share it with the area. Absolutely. Well, this is the third year that uh, you're going to be putting on the Ghost Story Speaking Series. So uh, what can people expect when they when they show up on Sunday? They're going to expect a good time. Some of the stories are more fun. They're going to expect some local legends. They're going to expect a few ghost stories. And we're actually delving into true crime this year. Ooh, nice. Everyone loves a good true crime story. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, you're, and he's a podcaster, and yes. we're gonna and we're gonna get to that in a little bit. But I gotta say, you got a great voice for it. Well, you do. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think that's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. So you want you want to come hear his stories for sure. And we also mentioned, uh, you know, you, you've got all these talents. You're a storyteller, a <laughs> podcaster, and you're also an author. And you've uh, brought a few of your books yeah. that you've yes. written, and it looks like co-written. Um, so talk about some of these books. Here we've got the Eerie Quad Cities. That was the last book I wrote. Uh, a gentleman named Mike McCarty, another local author, he invited me in. He was having some scheduling conflicts on getting it in. He asked me, would you like to come on as a co-author? So I said, sure. Mm -hmm. And we awesome. went ahead and wrote it. And it's actually what kicked off these ghost talks. All right. Very well, cool. speaking of those ghost yeah. talks, let's let's get right into it because uh, you have one about Mary and Johann Weinach. Am I pronouncing that right? Marie? It's Johann Weinach. Yo oh, oh, okay. Or Weinach, if you want to go, it's more of a Germanic pronunciation. Sure, oh, makes like sense. It. Makes I love sense. the drama. So, <laughs> so, give us a little preview of that story. Yeah. So they were married in Austria in 1910, and they immigrated to the United States, and it was not a happy marriage. She was not thrilled about being married to him. She had actually chosen another suitor, hmm. and Marie. he won out with the parents. And in that day and age, the parents kind of dictated who the daughters married, mm -hmm. and so they chose Johan, and she didn't like Johan and was very open about it. When they immigrated to the United States, it still stayed an unhappy marriage, and the suitor actually followed them to Davenport, Ooh. and it did not end well. Oh, okay, a little teaser yeah. there of, uh, of that story. <laughs> you have another one um, about the related to the Rock Island Arsenal? Yeah. Yes, quarters one. Okay, um, oh, okay. Possibly, according to some stories, one of the most haunted houses in the region, if not the entire Quad Ooh, Cities. Okay. Everybody seems to have a story of that place. Either nothing happens, or they that. have, they hear footsteps, they see apparitions. Uh, in 2007, this is my personal favorite story, mm -hmm. 2007, the Arsenal police got a call to Quarters One, and it was empty at the time. They come in, and every window in the building was open, including, if you look at the picture there, the ones up on the tower. Oh, my goodness. Creepy. That is <laughs> a little bit. Very, very creepy. So definitely more of that, please, on Sunday. Yes. Um, we also want to mention your podcast I, that I alluded to uh, a little bit earlier. Yeah. Uh, you narrate this. It is called Strange and Dreadful Things. Yes. Um, and so I guess uh, tell us a little bit about it and why people should uh, give it a listen. Well, because, well, I'm going to plug my own stuff. I, I think it's good. Yes. Yeah. I think it's amazing. Yeah. But it's about strange and dreadful things and I focus a lot on the American Midwest which you don't hear a lot of I do a few international stories I do a few stories from other places outside of the Midwest that you've okay. never heard of probably yeah and I do a lot of local stuff too oh great very yeah. interested in the, in the local aspect, for I sure, and I think a lot of other people would be, too. Yeah, that Rock Island Arsenal story kind of threw me for a loop, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you can hear many of these stories uh, coming up here as you uh, put on the 
uh, Voices in the Walls. It's, of course, Sunday, October 22nd at the German American Heritage Center in Davenport. Admission, just a small cost of $5, but if you're a member, you can get in for free. The event starts at 2 o'clock and is in person or virtual. Oh, you have a virtual cool. option as well, so that's that's great to know. Uh, for more information on the program, head to GAHC.org. You can get some tickets there as well. So, John, very interesting. Thank you so much for joining us to talk yeah. about this. Thank you so much again for having me on. Yeah, we appreciate yeah. you. Thank you so much. We'll still